Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for a new Databricks video. In this video we are going to see how to handle corrupt records when we load data from a CSV file or a JSON file. We have three modes, we have the permissive mode, the drop malformed mode and the fail fast mode. In the permissive mode we load all the data but we place the corrupt records into a special column so that later on we can investigate those records. This is suitable for testing and development. Then we have the drop malformed mode where we drop all the corrupt records and we load only the valid data, only the clean records. This is suitable for production environments where we only want clean and valid data. And last but not least we have the fail fast mode where we throw an error whenever we encounter an erroneous record. This is also good for production environments where data integrity is of paramount importance. Now you will ask me what about other file formats? What about Parky format? What about Avro format? What about TXT files? Well, when it comes to Parky and Avro, data integrity is built in. They enforce the schema by default, so we don't have to worry about those. And when it comes to TXT files, we don't need those modes because every line is read as a record. Anyway, enough talking, so let's jump straight to the example. Okay guys, now here on our Databricks workspace I have the sample data, I have a CSV file and a JSON file. The data is identical. Here we have name, age and email, so three columns and three records. Now if you notice on the second record we have a string instead of an integer and this is why this record is malformed or a corrupt record. We have exactly the same data here in JSON format. As you can see age here is a string as well. And we are going to perform all our experiments based on this data. So moving on, on the uh, Databricks notebook with the code, here we have a more uh, descriptive way of the modes that we have. We have the permissive mode. In this mode, records that are malformed will have their erroneous data placed into a special column, underscore corrupt underscore record, and the remaining columns for that record are set to null. Suitable for exploratory data analysis where dropping data is not desirable. Useful when you want to manually review the, corrupt, the corrupted uh, records and possibly correct them or analyze the reasons for corruption. Then we have drop malformed mode. It simply drops any row that contains malformed data, providing a dataset that only consists of rows that are completely correct. Useful in production environments where you need clean, consistent data and can afford to lose the malformed records. Ideal when the proportion of malformed records is small and their exclusion does not significantly impact the analysis or the results. And fail fast mode. This mode will throw an error immediately if any corruption is detected in the data. This is useful for scenarios where data integrity is critical and even, even a single point of failure is unacceptable. Best for scenarios where data quality is critical and you must ensure that no malformed records are processed, for example in financial calculations or when feeding data into a sensitive machine learning model. Useful in testing environments to ensure that new data feeds meet an expected format without issues. I would add production environments as well if data integrity is so important. Okay, so let's move to permissive mode. Here we provide the schema. Now here in the permissive mode, remember we have one special column where we place the corrupt, the erroneous records. Now you, you need to specify this column underscore corrupt underscore record into your schema. Otherwise you own it, it's not going to work, right? So we have name, age, email, age, it's uh, of type, int, it's an integer type, right? and the underscore corrupt underscore record is of string type. Now, if we read this CSV file, we use header equals true and mode, as you can see here, permissive, then you need to 
uh, also use the schema and then you load your CSV file. So let's see what happens. Give it a second to run to spin up the cluster. Now the cluster is up and running, but uh, it needs some time to run this uh, data here. Okay, as you can see, we have an extra column, the corrupt underscore uh, record column here. And here on the second, uh, the second uh, record, Bob test and the email address, as you can see, the corrupt record is placed here. Now, again, we load all the data, but uh, on the column where we have this error, then we place null values. As you can see, we have Bob as a name and the email address, but on the age column, this value is null. But you can see the whole record here under the corrupt record column. The same when we're using JSON format. Again, we don't have a header in JSON format. So here, mode permissive, you provide the schema and then you load the JSON file here. And again, as you can see, we have uh, the name, we have the email, we don't have the age because uh, it was provided as a string. Now we insert null in, uh, instead. And here you can see the whole JSON record, name, age, and email here as well. The same like this one here, right? And then let's move to drop malformed mode. Again, you have to provide the schema. Now we don't have an extra, an extra column in this mode, right? So we drop any records that are not valid we enforce, you know, the data types. Now, as you can see, we dropped the second record, right? We use, again, uh, this mode drop malformed, we provide the schema, and then this mode uh, drops every record that is invalid, and we only load clean data. Same with uh, using JSON, as you can see here. And again, we only load the clean records. And the fail fast mode, here is where we throw an error. Now, it's good that you, if you use a try except block because you can print the error exactly. So as you can see here, the mode is fail fast, right? And here now, as you can see, it says number format exception for input string test, right? It's uh, perfectly normal because uh, we provided the string instead of an integer. And the same, we're using JSON. Again, uh, it's good to try to use try and accept. So you can see the uh, error exactly. Cannot pass the field name age and the value test of the JSON to, uh, to type of type value, string value to target Spark data int, right? So we provided a string instead of an integer, and this is how you can throw an error using the fail fast mode. This is it for today, guys. Nothing spectacular, a simple practical example about all those modes for handling corrupt records when you loading CSV and JSON files. If you like the video, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.